So this is my review of the Gato Stream Deck, why I bought it, what I'm going to use it for, and I'll throw in a quick tutorial as well. Alright guys, how's it going? So you can tell I'm not a professional reviewer <laughs> by the introduction of the cat, <laughs> but there was a box, and this is what you get in the box. You get the Stream Deck, you get the standard it sits on, and you get a small manual, and that basically tells you go and download the application. Side note, I actually used After Effects Warp Stabilizer to stabilise this footage. It turned out not too bad. So let's take a look at the actual application. So when you initially open it, all of these are blank. And there only is one icon, and it's a welcome button, and this takes you to the home page. Now, I don't have the best menu here, to be honest. <laughs> it's kinda, I'm still kinda playing around with it. And you're probably thinking, why have you got Facebook? You're sad. Well, the amount of times I actually check it is unreal. And having a button, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's a psychological thing or it's a memory reflex, but usually I use the desk tool top menu up here, but I found myself using this button more and more often, and rather than just typing into the website eh, for Facebook, I'm hitting a button, and it really is, I, I think it's a psychological thing, I think just having that physical touch, does it make it worth 150 quid? I'm not sure yet, and it's a lot of money. Now, if you don't want to fork out that kind of money, check out my free alternative video, I'll put a link in the top right. All it does is use your mobile phone and it gives you pretty much the exact same functionality. But the great thing about this is, if I hit the blender button, it'll automatically load blender. And when blender actually loads up, it actually changes menu. And this is great, you can actually have it work on an application per basis. So this could be a Adobe Photoshop, it could be After Effects, it could be Resolve, it could be ZBrush, the list is endless. If you're a streamer, it's pretty much a must, I would recommend it if you do streaming, because you can do things like change scenes, you can record, you can clip, etc. But I'm coming at this from an artist's perspective, and why does it benefit me? And the main reason is the sculpting tools. Now this is my basic Blender interface, and I've put all these icons in a folder, and I'll put them on Gumroad for you, you're more than welcome to download them, don't pay anything for them because they're technically not mine. So the main reason I bought this is, I've made these folders. So when I click on Sculpting, it actually takes me into the Sculpting folder. And this means my left hand will essentially sit on the Stream Deck, my right hand will be on the Graphics tablet, and I can quickly change between brushes. Now the great thing about this is, it can be organised in any way that you want, I mean really any way. If you take a look on the right hand side, these are some of the options. Now I've got a few hidden, but you can do things like a website, you can do hotkey switching, you can do open a file, you can do control your computer on and off. There is loads and loads of things. I've actually got a timer on the homepage that tells me how long my computer's been on, which means that's how long I've sat at a computer. And that's a really sad reminder. But if you actually go to more actions, it gives you a whole bunch of actual add-ons and plugins. And some of these are really, really good. Like IFTTT you can do. You can do things like TeamSpeak, Minecraft stats, who plays Minecraft there. And it goes on and on, Visual Studio as well. So I'm going to go back a menu, and this is my edit menu. And this is just to give me quick access. Now, is it any quicker than pressing the shortcut on the keyboard? I don't think so. I think these are more gimmicky for me, to be honest. I think the sculpting ones will come in really handy, but things like this, I don't know. I've not used it enough to give an honest opinion. I think if you use things like After Effects or you do a lot of video editing, I think that might actually come in really handy. But I've left one of these blank, and I'm going to show you how to quickly set it up. So what we can do here is, if we come on the right hand side, we can look for a hotkey and we'll drop it in. Now, there's two ways to add an icon, you can just use an image file, or you can go to create new icon, and that takes you to an actual website, and you can create an icon, which is pretty cool, you can drop in a file, and this is the Elgato website, and it's great for doing icons and buttons and things like this, but I've used an image file, and what I had to do is, I had to open Blender up, let me press my preferences key, and I had to put the resolution right up to 2.0 and that means I could copy and paste these but it was pretty good and it worked fine and like I mentioned I'll put them in a file for you guys so I'll jump back into this menu I'll click here I'll come down and I'll set from file now these are the buttons I've actually included I'll show you some of the sculpting stuff I'll show you the edit mode and then the last thing I need to do is add the faces so I've added the face and you can see down the bottom hotkey now, a hotkey for this is number 3, let's test it out, let's jump into Blender, let's go into Edit Mode, 
and let's press it on the Elgato. Pretty cool, and it works fine. And that's pretty much the basics of the Elgato. I don't need to sell this, there's plenty of other tutorials and there's plenty of other guys reviewing it. So I'm going to give my opinion, and I'm going to tell you if it's worth 150 quid. And I think the answer to that is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> if it was maybe £100, yeah, I would definitely buy it. 150 you're kind of pushing it a little bit there. And there is free alternatives out there on the market. But if you're using it daily and you're pretty much this is your job, yeah, I would I would fork out the 150 quid. Well, I did fork out the 150 quid, so that's the answer, to be honest. Does it speed up your productivity? Yeah, for sure. Straight away, within 10 minutes, you're automatically pressing it. And it's a cool little toy. It's excellently hard buttons. <laughs> and that's pretty much my review of the Gato Stream Deck. Don't rush out and buy one on my advice, because my advice sucks. Do your homework, check out other people's reviews, check out other artist reviews, and if you've got a wife like mine, you kind of need to hide it when the postman came. <laughs> and that's pretty much the review of the Gato Stream Deck. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, cost you absolutely nothing. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.